Hey everybody, tonight I am cooking a pasta jambalaya with some corn on the cob and a great cucumber cranberry salad. So stay with me and let me show you how I do it. Okay, to make my pasta jambalaya, this is the set of ingredients that I use. First of all, I use shredded chicken. This is some that I had in the freezer. I use a seasoning blend. I hate cutting up vegetables, so I let the company do it for me. I use some kind of um, smoked sausage. This isn't my usual brand, but that's okay. And I probably will only use about half of it. And then I typically use penne pasta. This is all I have. It may be enough. If not, I'll add some bow tie pasta in there. But I also use some Tony Sacheries, some onion powder, salt and pepper, of course, garlic, some Tabasco, this Cavender's Greek seasoning, which is awesome if you've never used it, and some thyme and oregano. So let's go ahead and get started cooking. These are the ingredients that I use to make the salad. Of course, the lettuce, which I prefer butter lettuce, this Ken's balsamic vinegar, a cucumber, and these packs of cranberries and glazed walnuts. So now I'm just gonna peel the cucumber. All right, now that the cucumber is peeled, I'm gonna go ahead and chop off the ends of the cucumber. Then I'm gonna split the cucumber in half. And after I split it in half, I'm gonna just take a spoon and I'm gonna scoop out the insides. I don't like to keep the insides of the cucumbers when I'm making a salad because it just is just too wet and makes my lettuce soggy. So I scoop it out so each half of the cucumber looks like a little cucumber boat. All right, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the cucumber into little slices. And once I cut it all into slices, now you can make the slices as thick or as thin as you want and then this time, I just cut each, I guess, cucumber half in half, um, which makes bigger slices of cucumber. But if you want to, you can go ahead and cut those cucumbers down even smaller. So like each half of a slice, you cut it into like maybe three. So it does make it go a little bit farther. But this time, for the sake of time, I just cut each um, each slice of the halves in half, if that makes sense. All right, now that I have those little cucumber bits in a bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and just add both packs of the dried cranberries and glazed walnuts and then I'm gonna to top it with this Ken's balsamic vinaigrette, and you can put as much or as little as you want, but I do like for it to be really coated. So once I have the dressing in there, just stir it up, and then after I'm finished stirring, I go ahead and cover it, and I put it in the fridge because I like for it to be chilled when it's time to eat. So um, that is what I do. Now it is time to chop the smoked sausage. And if both ends have the little tie, um, cut off both ends, but only one end had it this time. So I just went ahead and chopped the one end off and cut 
slices of the sausage. And then once you finish the slices, I like to cut each slice into halves. And if you want it to go even farther, you can cut it into fourths. But this time I just cut the pieces into halves. To start cooking this, I add about a tablespoon or two of avocado oil into the skillet that is already heated and I add the sausage. Now, uh, once I got the sausage in here, I did realize that I just didn't really have enough, so I added some more and I just kind of stir that around and you wanna cook the sausage for about five to seven minutes, I guess. But once the sausage kind of starts turning brown, you will know that it's kind of ready to go ahead and start adding the chicken. And that's what I do here. Now I have this in the freezer, but I put it in the microwave to defrost it a little bit, but it still had some parts that were stuck together. It's still a little frozen, so I had to break that up a little bit. But yeah, I go ahead and chop the chicken, stir that in with the oil and the sausage, um, I guess, grease, and it flavors the chicken a little bit more. Once I've stirred that all together real good, I add some pepper and a few have watched my other videos, you will know that we love our food spicy in this house. So I add the pepper before I, once I get all that mixed up, um, then I go ahead and add in this seasoning blend, which is just a blend of onion, bell, red and green bell pepper, and some celery. And I add that to the um, skillet, and I stir that up real good, and I let that cook for I guess maybe about five minutes or until the vegetables are a little more translucent. Okay, now that the veggies have cooked for about five minutes or three minutes until they're a little bit soft, I start adding the seasoning and in the description box below, I will have a list of the seasonings and an approximate amount of how much of each that I add. But I've gone ahead and ordered, or gone ahead and added the garlic, the onion powder, the thyme, the oregano, the cavenders, and I just wanna make sure it is blended really well before I add the pasta. And once I put the penne in there, I felt like it might not be enough. So I added some bow tie pasta, which after everything was said and done, it really was probably more than enough. But I start off with about two cups of water. I mix all of this up really good. And I kind of determine if I need to add a little bit more water, which you'll see in a minute that I actually do. But here I'm adding the Tony Sacheries and you really don't need to add much because a little goes a long way. But this is Kitchen Bouquet and I forgot to put it in the um, beginning of the video. But Kitchen Bouquet is just kind of a browning and seasoning sauce and it does add a little bit of flavor, but I like the way that it kind of makes the food a little more brown, especially with things like pasta jambalaya or regular jambalaya. Now I see that I needed a little bit more water, so I added about another cup. And of course we love garlic, so I added more garlic and I added some salt. And that was everything that I needed to add to the pasta um, before I was ready to put the lid on it. All 
right, at this point, I really, I forgot to mention, I've been cooking this around a medium high heat. So before I put the lid on, you need to make sure that the water is boiling a little bit. You can see around the edges and then in the middle it was boiling a little bit, but I let it cook for about, um, I guess 20 minutes once I put the lid on. I take the lid off, I see there's a little more juice, but I go ahead and leave the lid off and let it finish cooking. All right, it is time to eat. So I have the salad, pre-made salad, on the plate already and I have the corn on the cob so I am just going to top the salad I don't like to mix this with the uh, lettuce because I like for my lettuce to be crisp so I'm just gonna add this to the top that looks about right then I'm gonna add just a little more of this just a little bit then, here is the pasta jambalaya that is all cooked through. The pasta is cooked through. So, just gonna scoop some of that. It's hard to scoop and film at the same time without dropping it everywhere. But, anyway. All right. And there you have pasta jambalaya corn on the cob and a cranberry. I said cucumber cranberry. It's cucumber cranberry and walnut salad. All right, you guys, that is what's for dinner and that is how I make my pasta jambalaya. Give me a thumbs up if you love pasta as much as I do. Also, let me know down below in the comments if you've ever made something like this before. I would love to know. And if you've done anything different, let me know that also. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed it. I love doing videos like this, DIY videos all about my home. So I would love it if you would consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell button because it lets you know every time I upload a new video. I will see you in the next video. Bye.